What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Dylan Matthews, back at it again with another hometown take. And today we talking about the Atlanta Hawks. Let's go! No Trey Young, no problem. You already know what I'm saying. Atlanta Hawks get a huge victory to tie up the Eastern Conference Finals at two, game, two games apiece. And now we looking at a best of three. Three. Ooh, head up four right there. Three. All right. So Atlanta Hawks get the big win. No Trey Young. Obviously, I really thought he was going to play. He was out. I was devastated once I thought he was out. But once I started thinking about it, in the back of my mind, I was like, you know what? We might be all right because Trey is a great player. Oh, and before I continue, like this video, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Hawks to help fuel the Atlanta Hawks to two more wins and the NBA Finals appears, baby. Let's go. We just need two more. And then also check out the second link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. Um, actually, no. The second link is to subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast with me and your girl, Simone, with his resorts, as she likes to say. Simone and I are talking to your favorite former current athletes, hosts, anchors, reporters, all that good stuff. So make sure you listen to the pod, download it, share it, tell your friends about the pod, and tell them to download it, share it, subscribe to it, and you subscribe to it too. Just download Tough Calls, search it in either Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts, and listen to the good content and don't miss out. All right, like I was saying, Trey Young is obviously a great player. Obviously, we need him if we, you know, want to win the chip. But at least for this game, it, I think we would be all right at least for a game because now I don't know if he's going to miss game five or not, how it's going to work. I would think he hope hopefully plays game five. But the point being, I would I, I was thinking in the back of my head after, I, you know, car, uh, compartmentalized him being out, and all that stuff, and got over my pout and, and my anger and got out my feels, I was thinking that we would be all right because Trey Young is a great player. But obviously, he's very ball dominant, and he's great. He makes great decisions, but sometimes he does take those through those long threes when it's not necessarily needed. And, you know, sometimes it hurts us. Sometimes it helps when he knocks him down. You never know. But... He does it to keep the defense honest and make sure the defense has to press up on him when he crosses half court. So it's pros and cons to it. But there are also pros and cons to not having Trey Young out there. Obviously, the con is not having that type of offense, spectacular offense, a real go-to guy, someone who has a limited range. But a pro to having a team that does not have Trey Young on it, the ball moves a lot better. And I got a little scared. I was, I knew it could go one of two ways. Either the ball will maybe stick with Lou Williams or the ball will be shooting around, shooting around. And I was hoping to be shooting around, shooting around. And boy, it was shooting around today. Six players and double figures. And excuse me again before I go on. Sorry about the lighting. I'm currently in a car right now doing my video because we're out in Stone Mountain Park RVing with Simone's family. So um, I came out into the car, so I wouldn't disturb them. And they wouldn't have to be quiet. And I, you know, I didn't want to do this space like that. So I'm in the car. With the light on. So, sorry about the light. But y'all still got me. All right, anyways. The ball was shooting around, shooting around. Six players in double figures. Lou Will showed out big time. Seven and nine from the field. Two or three from three-point land. 21 points. How about Bogey Bogdanovich coming out the depths of playing bad? Bogey Bogdanovich, 20 points, six of 14 from three knockdown six threes that's what i'm talking about bogey that's how you rebound i'm guessing that me feeling a lot better bogey had a great game kevin herter clint capella 15 points apiece now jc only had four points but he was playing good defense gave good energy you know so i'm not too mad at the four points from jc definitely want more though great team victory though and another thing how about clint capella channeling his inner rest in peace to him the late great Kobe Bryant over the backboard shot. He hit him with the Kobe on that fadeaway. Man, that was a great shot. And then how about Cam Reddish? Cam Reddish, come through, young fella. Cam Reddish, I see you, my boy. You got to see it through, my boy. You got to see it through. And Cam Reddish saw it through. 12 points, a big 12 points off the bench. I think he had two threes. 
hit some big jumpers, hit some big threes. And Oyeko Kongwu had some big points as well, some good minutes. Seven points. Onyeka Kongwu had some great defensive plays as well. Danilo Gallinari has been solid as a rock this series. Another double-figure game from him. Ten points as well. Knocked down a couple of threes, I believe. Just the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate team win. This is the best-case scenario when Trey Young is not on the floor. We can go to multiple guys. The ball moves just a little bit better because, you know, Trey doesn't, isn't, sticking with the ball as much you know obviously like i said we still need trey young this isn't to hit on trey young or say we're better without trey young because we're not but still a testament to all the guys that stepped up tonight danilo cam reddish lou williams bogey bogdanovich everybody stepped up tonight clint capella hope he's okay with that eye and everybody stepped up tonight and we blew them folks out. We got our blowout back. That's what I'm talking about. So shouts out to the Hawks for getting the job done. They did the dang thing. Tied it up at 2-2, but now we did lose home court. We got it. We're going to have to win another in Milwaukee to win the series. And we at least have to win our last game in Atlanta to get this to a game seven. So we'll see what happens, but a lot does ride on. What's going to happen with Trey Young? And now what's going to happen with Giannis Atenacupo? Giannis, yes, went down, as y'all all probably saw, hyperextended knee in the third quarter. Ooh, it did not look good. I, I really hope Giannis isn't out. Obviously, you know, it would help us not having Giannis out there, but I don't want to win like that. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. I want Giannis to be able to play and be out there. So hopefully Giannis can play. Hopefully he's healthy. He was able to walk out, walk under his own power. He did go to the locker room, come back out and sit with the team. Like he may have been able to come back in. But then once he came back out, we went up 20. And I think they just called it quits after that. Said there was no reason to put him back in and endanger him uh, anymore. So we'll see the statuses of Trey Young and Giannis Antetokounmpo, two of the biggest stars in this series. We'll see what's going on with them for game five hopefully they're both able to play because i just want to win this square up i don't want to give bucks fans or anybody any excuses to not give the hawks their credit and i know it's going to be about the hawks the i mean not excuse me it's going to be off the bucks and you know it's getting injured and player safety and all that we had trey young for the whole game now i'm not trying to diminish Giannis's impact or anything like that but y'all at least had y'all start for a half y'all at least had y'all best player for a half and some change we didn't have trade the whole game so i don't want to hear it we stepped up, okay? We both didn't win injuries, okay? So I don't want to hear the whole Giannis thing because we ain't have trade for the whole game. That's all I'm saying. But you fear the narrative is going to be, oh, well, if Giannis didn't get hurt, maybe they could have came back, but blah, 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 blah. We, we, we had a pretty good hold on the game before that. But anywho, tell me what y'all think. Tell me how, what you guys think the keys are to game five. I just think we got to go in there, keep it close. Um, like I said, I mean, we'll see what happens with um, Trey and Giannis, but guys got to step up when the number is called on. Guys got to knock down shots like they did tonight. Keep, stay calm, collected, and connected. The three C's by Nate McMillan do that. Limit the turnover, try to turn the Bucks over. Did a great job of turning the Bucks over tonight, getting easy baskets. Kevin Herter, Bogey Bogdanovich had some good steals in the game as well, so got to keep that up. We were swarming on defense tonight swarming on defense in the first half our defense looked fierce shout out to chris dunn oh my goodness y'all the light went out on me hold on yikes hold on y'all the light done went out on me yikes i don't have no light no more what's up with this All right, y'all. All right, y'all, we back. <clears throat> but yeah, shout out to Chris Dunn, Cam Reddish, Kevin Herter, all had active hands, got good steals during the game. So maybe now we'll, def I think definitely now we can see more Cam Reddish. Maybe even some more Chris Dunn. 
now that they've got their feet wet and played some meaningful minutes tonight. So hopefully we can see them at least in this series. Definitely, you know, if they keep playing this series, we'll see them in the finals as well. So that helps get our bencher deeper and deeper if we need to. Getting healthy at the right time, guys. Hopefully, well, besides, you know, Trey, but hopefully he can come back and be good and not be, you know, limited really any. Um, but yeah, other than that, hopefully we're getting healthy at the right time and Trey can come back in game five. We'll see if we can finally put this whole thing together and put the whole roster together. I mean, obviously we don't have Brandon Good with the rest of the year, that sort of thing. But either way it goes, we're going to see what happens. Let me know what y'all are thinking about this game, how y'all feel about this game. What are the keys for y'all for game five? I just laid out mine, you know, got to play good defense, stay calm, collected, connected, try to turn the bucks over and knock down shots. Guys need to step up when their number is called on like they did tonight. And I think we will be all right. But again, like this video, guys, comment your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, check out the first link in my description box to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel, help fuel the Atlanta Hawks. Two more wins in the NBA Finals appearance. Let's go. Just need two more, baby. Let's get it. And check out the second link in my description box to subscribe to the Tough Calls podcast. Me and girl, Simone, with this bizzards, as she likes to say. Simone and I are talking to your favorite former current athletes, hosts, anchors, reporters, all that good stuff. So make sure you listen to the pod, subscribe to it, download it, share it, tell your friends about it, tell them to listen to it, download it, share it, and tell their friends about it. And don't miss out on the good content. Just search Tough Calls on either Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. And also, check out the link also in my description box. It'll be one of the links to the Simone with the Sports Mizzerch. I'm wearing the wavy D if you're a wavy guy, wavy girl, like Simone likes to say. So check that out in my description box as well. The link will be there to that. So, again, go Hawks. Series up 2-2. We have life. And we coming back to the fo 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 at least one more, baby. Let's get it. So definitely think we'll probably be in the MLKs for game six. Got to go back to the bread and butter with the MLKs. But we'll see what happens next. Okay, hopefully Trey and Giannis will be healthy because, like I said, don't want to win without Giannis out. Don't want to give anybody any excuses. So want Trey and Giannis to both be out there, be playing and competing at the highest level. But, guys, until I talk to you next time, believe Atlanta. Stay true to Atlanta. Peace.